it's been a few days since I started this project because the engine I had purchased had the wrong size crankshaft. It was too short. So, uh, Vicky's over there getting the wheels all cleaned up because it's pouring on rain outside. But the sun is coming out. And I'm a cleaner. I like to clean. What are you using? I'm using Super Clean because that does the best on these tires. See how nice that looks? I already got one done already. This was on the um, shoot side. And that's one gets covered green. This one, see in the back? There. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty that is. Okay. <clears throat> so anyhow, I did have a 23 horse Briggs. <clears throat> We're going to go with the 26 horse Kohler. So the crankshaft is the same size, but I uh, have to get it up into... <laughs> Uh, the engine bay before I could do really any real cleaning on it. Let's see what we got and see how close we got. Looks pretty centered. Oh, that was lined right up. That one's lined right up. So I lined these up perfect. Looks like the front ones are the same and the back ones going in place different. So works out nice. I'm glad they got this drilled out. Bolts on the bottom of that engine are 3 8 Always a dead battery. Okay, let's get this thing all lined up again. I'm gonna hold off on putting this bolt in because the ground has got to go between the engine and the frame. I would normally use an impact driver on here, but I'm going into aluminum. Okay, before I go any farther, I gotta get the wiring hooked up. These are two different plugs. They will not work. I gotta clean that up yet. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta find out where these wires are coming from. I'm gonna take the plug off the other one and I'm just gonna splice into here. Cool. Brand new air filter. A mud bees. Huh. There's larva for one. Okay, so I'm going to have to get a separate solenoid because uh, solenoid on a Kawasaki is attached to the starter. So I'll be right back. Okay, I got my solenoid. I had a little bit of a price shock there. Used to be able to get these for $12. Now they are $26. Yeah, huh? So the positive cable coming from the battery is too short because it goes all around everywhere. So I'm going to have to reroute it on the inside so i got enough room. And then I'm going to put the solenoid right straight down there. I'm going to have to use, since I don't have any shorter self-tappers, I'm just going to run these down and snap them off from underneath. Plenty long, plenty, plenty long. Just right. I already spliced one in, I wasn't recording. Uh, I have these uh, sitting on my uh, shelf or sitting in my cabinet because I collect all this stuff and I never get rid of it. I've had this for Oh, at least five, six years, and I just finally using it. So.
No, I don't have the right size wire strippers. Use two hands on that because one keeps you from flipping it over and smashing your fingers. Not that I've ever done that. Okay, it only takes three wires to run a lawnmower. Uh, this would be red, which comes up to green, which is a fuel shut off for the carburetor. Uh, the white which is the kill switch that grounds them out. Yellow comes from the regulator. That's where it was at. And this green is uh, goes to um, the solenoid. So uh, let's get these pulled out and let's get them spliced in on the other side. So I also left one thing off. This right here has got to go to the hot side, which would be the battery side, which I have this all hooked up. I'm going to have to pull that ground back off and I pull that off. But uh, let's get these other ones hooked up. Ooh, almost cut the starter wire off. I use dielectric grease on a lot of things, like right this. I'm just going to be putting butt joints on here. So, uh, yeah, I just put some grease on it. Cutting all these off. Green, which goes nowhere. The red. Yellow and purple. Again, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. Ooh, I hear power. It's at the carburetor, so I got that part right. Okay, got the solenoid all wired up. Let's see if we got some cranky cranky. Awesome. Okay, let's hook up the fuel. Now this is all new fuel line that I replaced here a few years ago, but uh, normally I buy this by a three foot length, so I got a bunch left. Okay, I took the cover and everything off because uh, these wires are coming in from this side versus that side. So hopefully they're saying this is choke. So choke all the way up. Yep, that works. Wide open. <clears throat> Left hand tank's got fuel in it. Let's see if we get this bad boy to start. Full choke. There is no muffler on here.
Blue in a tank is what I did. Yes, it's a little gassy. There we go. Yeah, at least to clean my hands off. Closer. Okay, I'm going to wait for this to cool down and I'm going to get back to this tomorrow because i got to do the exhaust next. Now the next question is, is this exhaust going to fit without me doing any adjusting? Uh, it would fit except for one thing. These are too short. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some cutting and welding. Okay, so since this area from here to here is too short, I'm going to have to hack it off about here up a little bit. And I'm going to have to fill it in with the of this someplace but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off both sides bolt this part to the exhaust manifold bolt the muffler up and go from there so, yeah it would have fit in there just nice but just too short like it's about three quarters of an inch give or take what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this off uh, both of them about right there just in case I happen to use these and need another muffler on it so that I don't butcher up the whole thing I'm just take it off a little bit of each one
got it. No, hold on to that end. Put one hand. Okay. Nope. Turn. Towards you? I think so. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, let go. There we go. Yep. Sorry about the bump. Tiger Cub. Tiger Cub. It took us a little bit to get to this point, but uh, the engine, we had we just purchased an engine. Mark didn't have to rebuild it, so uh, it's all ready to go. So let's go and try it out. Vicki, you got your mower back. How do you like it? I'm happy with this. It feels like a new mower. Yeah. I mean, this thing, the hand, the, these even work better than the Tiger Cat, I think. They do. This mower is a little bit slower, but we went from a 19 horse motor to a 26 horse motor. So uh, it's going to start a little different. It's going to take a little bit longer to warm up, but once we get going, this thing I don't think is going to bog to hurt. Uh, mowing style which is right to the stocks so um, that's going to be it for us i hope you enjoyed today's video please comment like and subscribe to the next one peace goodbye